Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for hopping on tonight's team call. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start just with a couple announcements um, I want to make sure that you guys are aware of. Um, so first of all, as always, um, if any newer coaches are watching this, if you ever have any questions about like what's happening, I'm going to show you a couple tricks here. So at the top of the team page, there's it says that there's announcements. Um, you can also find it like in your shortcuts announcements. Um, but that's typically where we post our calendar and just kind of an overview for the month. So if you click on this Google Doc, it will take you to a team calendar for the month just to kind of give you an overview. So team calls, um, if there's any extra events happening. So Super Saturday is the 20th. You're going to want to make sure that you figure out, talk to your sponsor coach, say, hey, I want to go to Super Saturday. Where do I go? What do I do? There should be one near you. Um, also, you need to be aware, this is kind of a huge deal, that the sum, that Summit tickets are on sale the 20th through the 31st. This will be explained a little bit more at Super Saturday, but basically, you guys, Summit is like our big event of the year. It's what, it's like the event um, of events. So it's everybody from Teach, Team Beachbody coming together. You're going to hear from top coaches. You're going to get to hang out with the team. Um, we're going to be doing a little team retreat before in Indianapolis. So it's next July in Indianapolis. And um, it's just so much fun. We went to Indianapolis this year. It, it's an amazing town. Um, we have a tribe summit group you can join to kind of see, you know, what the costs are going to be. Um, and, you know, we room together. So the costs will, uh, you know, cut the costs down and different things like that. So Another really cool thing is Diamond and Below coaches who get their Super Saturday ticket actually have a chance to earn $200 in travel cash for Summit. So that is huge, guys, earning 200 bucks to be able to go to Summit. Like, that's awesome. So definitely you're going to want to keep your eye on that and learn more about that. Um, Keep your eyes peeled because we do have a couple more awesome team calls this month, as you can see. My sponsor coach, Brigitte Linford, who is a superstar, 15-star diamond coach and member of the Million Club, amazing leader. Um, she is your upline, so you'll want to be on that call next week. And then we also have Chris Downing, yes, the Chris Downing, um, creator of Shift Shop, which on the 22nd, I did not put that on here, but Proving Grounds, I should have put that on there. I can edit that right now. Watch this. Proving Grounds is released. And I don't, I was in the, me and Ashley were in the shift shop test group and it was incredible. We both probably have the best results we've ever had on that program. So we're both really excited that he um, has this additional workouts to shift shop. Um, releasing on the 22nd proving ground. So how cool we get to hear from them him that week release week um, So there you go. There's that team calendar and One last thing I want to point out to you guys. Have you guys seen this make your mark? Um, this uh, Promotion that they're doing so cool. So just to kind of celebrate proving grounds the release of proving grounds they are giving some incentives. So I'm gonna scroll down here actually because you can see the prizes. Check out these prizes. So marker one, um, you guys can go to, I'm trying to think of where this is, but I'm not sure. I'll just kind of briefly explain it. But essentially, um, if you hit Success Club and if you help your coaches hit Success Club, you're gonna get some prizes. And the more, the higher Success Club you hit, then um, you are going to, get more prizes so um the more people you help the more prizes you're gonna get and so i'm all i love prizes i think they're great i'm really sad i actually i missed success club one month and so i lost out on my duffel bag you guys by one point like tears i don't even know like i can't even handle it but i missed my duffel bag <laughs> you have to go buy myself one now but um it's kind of just a fun way to celebrate um your hard work and give you guys some cool swag. So that's definitely a cool, cool thing there. All right, um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, as always, if you guys ever have any questions, concerns, um, please feel free to message me, reach out to me, I'm happy to help. But tonight we get to hear from the one and only Brooke. Um, I'm so excited to have her on the call. She has just, 
um, really been showing up as a leader. She's been showing up for herself and her business. I love following her stories. I love following um, everything that she's doing because she's just, she's really just a strong woman. And I really admire, I admire her for everything that she's doing right now. And I'm excited to have her on the call. She is going to share just kind of what she's going to be doing over the next few months to really set herself up for success. And you guys, this is the time to listen, to perk those ears up. You know, it's not time to pull back or anything. It's a time to engage and listen and um, move forward in your business. So I'm excited to hear from you, Brooke, and I'll turn the time over to you. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out because I just did something and now I can't figure out how to uh, share my screen because I was going to share my screen with you, but I don't know what I did. Um, okay, so... What is the deal? Okay, hold on just a second. Bear with me. I can introduce you more. No, you're good. <laughs> she has four kids. She's pregnant with number five. Uh, okay. In Utah. I, I'm losing it over here, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> um, so I am excited for the next three months. And I feel like sometimes the end of the year can be daunting because we're in the middle of the holiday season and it's hard to find people that aren't like, well, let me wait until after the holidays, etc. Um, but I kind of wanted to just go over what I am going to be doing and I'm going to share my screen real quick to end the year with a bang and also set myself up for success in January. Um, so let's see, let me share my desktop. Um, okay. So here's my five tips. Um, number one, I want you, I've got my notes over here. Um, find your niche. So if you don't already know what your niche is, figure it out. What are you good at? What are you good at? Um, what are you passionate about? What do you spend a lot of time doing? I struggle with this question because I spend all my time being a mom <laughs> and just momming. Um, but I, so I, that's what I share about like on my Instagram. Um, but I am finding more and more people that are attracted to that. Um, and so find your niche. What are you good at? What are you passionate about? What do you spend a lot of time doing and talk about it? Um, it doesn't matter what it is. You guys, it doesn't, don't put a lot of, I guess, effort into figuring out, well, what am I good at? It doesn't matter. Just things that you enjoy, figure it out and start sharing about it and share about it all the time. Um, okay. So number two, how do you share? If you don't already know where, I know we have a lot of new coaches in the team. And so that's kind of why I'm going over this. Um, where are you sharing at? Are you wanting to do it via blog? Are you wanting to do it via social media website? Um, for me, it's Instagram. I do a little bit on Facebook, but mostly Instagram and Instagram stories. Um, and you need to pick which one or two or whatever you're doing and start sharing and be unapologetically you. Um, I was talking to my sister-in-law the other day who's on the call. I'm sorry, Jordan. And we were discussing Instagram and um, I was telling her, I said, you know, it's funny because I, ha I have like the most boring life ever. And I literally get on Instagram every day and share the exact same thing pretty much every day. I wake up every morning. I am on there. Like I can't even open my eyes yet. My, if I have contacts just barely in and they're like still dry, my eyes are just, I just look awful. And I do that every single day. I do my energize every single day. Um, I do my morning routine every single day and I put it on Instagram every single day. Um, what else do I do? I share my day planned every single day, which guess what? That looks exactly like 
the same thing every day, pretty much. Like I post it and it's just kind of a joke. Cause I'm like, why do I even post this anyway? So I was talking to her, to Jordan the other day and I was telling her, I said, you know, people, they are attracted to it for some reason. I don't understand why people watch my stories. I don't get it. And Jordan was just like, that's because you're hilarious. And I was like, I am not funny, but she's like, no, but really you're hilarious because you just get on there and you just don't care. You're just like not awake. And you know, these things, people are attracted to these things. So be you, um, share it. People are attracted to it. So, um, show up daily. That is a huge thing. I'm starting to realize that, um, when you do these types of businesses, people are, um, just standoffish, which I'm sure everybody else knows this too, but just a little standoffish at first. Do you want to know what they are looking for? They're looking to see that you are going to show up and you're not going to leave. Um, and that you're going to be there daily. So make sure you're showing up daily, both in your, so in particular, I'm talking about Instagram because that's what I do. So make sure you're showing up daily, not only in your Instagram feed, which they actually suggest you do like three times a day. Um, but also in your Instagram stories, um, Instagram or Facebook or whatever your platform is, is your storefront. So if you're not showing up there, then people don't know what you're doing or they forget about you. Um, whatever the, the thing may be. Um, I was watching a, a video on beach body champions the other day and they were talking about Instagram and they were talking about how people watch you for an average of six to 12 months before they do any kind of anything with coaching. And that's not always the case with everybody, but like before they become a coach or want to become a coach, they are either in your challenge groups for six to 12 months, or they're watching you show up every single day for six to 12 months. So make sure that you're posting about what coaching is posting about your challenge groups, posting about these different things every day that has to do with the business and not only the business, not only the challenge groups, but posting about your life, because that is what people are honestly attracted to is your day-to-day -day life. They want to see other people that are going through things like they are, or that struggle with the same, same things that they do that have kids that drive them crazy. Um, whatever it may be, see other moms that are like stressing out, um, <laughs> or see other, other women that are working and are busy and that are still showing up and getting results, um, and doing, doing their stuff. Like I love watching Cassie, um, who is like an amazing meal prepper. I love watching her. She's busy and she's still meal preps. I need to take some tips from her. Anyway, she's amazing. Um, okay. So that's number two. Number three. I don't know if you guys can see my face too. Can you see my face as well? Okay. Um, make a list, add to it every single day. I have gone back and forth and back and forth, um, with, trying different ways to track my people and that I'm talking to. Um, and I have just come back to paper, pen and paper because the rest is too complicated for me to figure out right now. And I feel like I need to get one thing down. So I have my notebook and I'm going to just kind of show you what I do, but, um, in the little video that you can see. So this is what, if you can see it, what my, um, paper looks like every single day. And so I just put one to 10 for invites and then one to 20, unless I go crazy one day and like 10 exit, um, and add these people's names to my list. And, um, these are all people that I am actually having back and forth conversations with. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing every single day is adding to it. Um, 
if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. And I am just starting to get in the last couple months to where I am actually keeping a list and keeping it consistently. And I don't know how many times that I'll go, well, not right now, beforehand, I would go and be like, oh, I need to message this person and I'll go pull up their messenger. And then like a year prior, I had already had a conversation with them and I did not remember at all. Um, and so you're going to forget it just, it is what it is. You're going to forget. So if you don't write it down, you don't have a business. Follow-ups are key. Breezy posted something, um, today from one of the top coaches. I can't remember. And if you didn't see it, go see it or go look at it. I think it's just on the team page. Um, but it kind of talks about what they do as far as, um, follow-ups and the schedule that they use and stuff like that. It was pretty awesome. Okay. So number four, work on yourself. You guys, this is huge. This is what, this is the number. Well, maybe I should put this as number one, but this is what you need to be doing is working on yourself. You need to be a product of the product. Um, you need to figure out your own schedule and stick to it. Um, define your own fitness goals, define your own, um, business goals, and then go for it. Just, um, figure it out. Let me go back to my notes, figure out what that is and start doing it. For me, it took a long time to figure out what kind of schedule I wanted. Um, what worked for me and believe it or not, 5 a.m ish been 5 30 lately is what works for me for working out or for getting up, doing my morning routine and then working out. You never, ever thought that I would be one to get up that early and do those things. Um, and I've always been somewhat of a morning person, but I never like got up at five just because I wanted to, my husband thinks I'm crazy now, but anyway, so figure out what works for you and try different things. That's okay. But figure it out and do it. Um, if you expect your challengers to show up, you have to show up. And so anyway, I just, I'm noticing this typo right here and I'm really sorry about that. Okay. So, um, that was number four, number five, get, um, a beach body plan in place. And I'm going to show you my checklist that I use every day. Um, it's just right down here. Um, but get, get a plan figured out. So find the daily checklist that works for you, implement it daily and get a marketing plan in place. This is the business activity tracker that I use and I've shared it with several of you. Um, and, but just in case you haven't seen it, I'm just going to kind of go over it real quick. Um, and explain a little bit of it and then move on. So my goal for the next, this is not working very well. My goal for the next, um, three months for the last quarter is to do the two X combos and invites. So every day I plan out my day, write down my goals, use my product, do a product post, whether that's in Instagram stories or Instagram feed. And then this is, these are the different things that I I'm trying to do every day. The go live does not happen very often. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just haven't quite figured out that part yet, but, and not figured out how to do it. Just figured out. I don't know. I just haven't forced myself to do it, I guess. Okay. So lifestyle post, this is whatever the heck is going on in your life. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, I lately have done family pictures as my lifestyle post because that's something that we had done lately. And then I just put something a little bit underneath it and call it good. Um, product posts. That's pretty obvious. Um, I, most of the time it's energized for me or Shakeology and beach body on demand. Those are my three go-tos that I pretty much do every day anyway. Um, business bread crumb posts. We've all heard, I think what bread crumbing is. If not look it up, but basically it's just putting little bits here and there about your business. So, um, sometimes I'll be sitting on the couch watching my kids play and just talking about how nice it is that I 
can have a side hustle and just be able to watch my kids play, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, but that's what that is. An engagement boost post. This is something that boosts your engagement. It doesn't matter what it's about. So often it can be like, um, which outfit would you choose for family pictures? I have family pictures coming up. Which one would you choose? And A or B. And people love giving their opinion and voting on things. So um, that's what that is. So I think the rest of it is the same, um, except for the go live. You can go live about whatever floats your boat. Uh, I'll let you guys know whenever I figure out how to be better at that. Because <laughs> I'm not going to give you a ton of advice because I'm really not that great at it. Um, okay, so let's see what else there is. Product post. Okay. Um, Saturday, this is just much more, not a huge work day for me. Um, but content creation, I kind of, kind of just try to figure out what, um, I'm going to do for the next week and, um, just write down ideas that I've had, not so much like a major schedule, but just things that pop up in my mind that, Oh, I can share about this or whatever. Um, Okay. So 10 new com conversations a day. I'm going to pull up my, if you guys have a Mac and are using Instagram, um, flume, the flume app has become my best friend. So this right here, um, I am able to do all my conversations with Instagram on my computer. This has been a game changer because it's so hard to have conversations on my phone. Like it gets old sitting there and typing on my phone. So I don't know if there's anything like this for anything that's not an Apple or Mac. I have no idea. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, this is <laughs> my conversations all in the last five hours. Um, and I will tell you that I do have an automatic message thing that sends out 30 messages a day. So that has helped me a ton with starting conversations. Um, and then for my conversation list that I have um, in my notebook, I the only people I put on that out of those 30 people are people that respond back to me. So people that I'm actually actively having conversations with. A lot of these people, as you can tell, do not respond <laughs> or maybe they take a while to respond. Um, but then there's a lot in there that do respond and there's people that are like, I would love to figure out how to eat healthier or I'm wanting to get back into, I've had so many people say I had a baby in the last year and I'm just wanting to start getting back anyway. So it just kind of, um, gives you an idea of where they're kind of at, or there's some people that are like, I don't know why I followed you. I just did. Or some people are like, I loved your family posts or whatever. Um, but it kind of gives you something to start with anyway. But this app is what I wanted to share with you because it's kind of just amazing. Um, so there's that. Let me get out of that real quick. Okay. Um, next thing. And I'm just, this is the first month I've ever done this, a marketing plan. Um, I've seen it before, but it's always been a little bit scary to me, but it's something that I've decided I just need to get into. And so every, some days I forget in the morning to check it cause I'm not used to it, but I'm trying to get used to it. So this is just an example of this month's marketing plan for me. And this is just stuff that I'm going to go over in my Instagram stories. So, um, like what's today with the 11th. So my focus would be on hydrate. Um, and then just a couple things about it. So I just, I give myself notes right here, like what I can say. Um, it's good when you're breastfeeding, um, or for me, I'll be using it while I'm breastfeeding. Um, it's basically a healthy Gatorade, things like that. And so you kind of, um, my, plan for the next three months is to implement a monthly monthly marketing plan where each day I just go over something. Um, just a little heavier in my stories because I feel like right now my stories are just very much my day-to-day -day life. And yes, people know I'm a coach. Yes, people know I work out every day. Yes, they know I drink my shake and, and my energize. Um, 
but I'm not super great at sharing about my team, um, or being part of a bigger team or sharing, you know, just different things, meal plans, community, um, different, different things like that. So this is my marketing plan and I can share this and this in the tribe team page if I haven't already. Um, anyway, so that is my fifth step that I am planning on, um, doing. So I think that, um, the biggest thing that I personally am going to be working on the next couple months that I have not been very good at is do people actually know that you're a coach? Um, they may know that you're good at working out. They may know that you're good at showing up. They may know that you are trying to eat healthy, but do they actually know that you're a coach? Do they actually know that they can ask you questions about it? Um, and so my biggest thing I'm going to be doing is openly inviting people to ask more questions. Um, do basically another thing I'm going to be working on is posting three times a day on my Instagram feed. Um, because like I said earlier, that is your storefront. Um, and so I want you guys to think about whether or not your storefront looks like it's open or looks like it's closed. Are you on vacation? <laughs> because I think I am good at several days in a row. I just won't post anything. And then some days I'll post like three times. Um, and so that's one thing that I'm going to start getting better at is posting several times a day about whatever. It doesn't matter. The, a big part of it is just getting into people's feeds. Um, the more comments you have, the more likes you have, the more often you're going to show up in their feed and the more people's feed you're going to show up into and they're going to see your, um, stories more often. So there's that. Um, and then ask yourself, are you talking about your life? Are you talking about your results? Are you talking about coaching? Um, and are you just sharing your journey in general? Um, that's it. I feel like that was super short, but I did like this bottom quote. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And consistency is key. And I think that there's stuff in the chat. So I'm going to look at that real quick. It's like me blabbing. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I am consistent. I'm consistently dorky looking for sure. So some, I want to say something about consistency though, because that's what a lot of this is that you talked about. So consistently showing up on your social media, consistently, like you saw the power of doing a list. Um, and then you are going to find the power in a monthly marketing plan. Um, but something really cool that Danielle Natoni said at leadership she said, and you guys can find that. Like if you, it, I would highly recommend listening to her speech out of all of them, you could probably YouTube it. I might be able to find it and post it, but she said, consistency is her superpower. And like it is like one of the most consistent people I know is Ashley and she's hit success club for her entire coach career, you know? So consistency is definitely a superpower for sure. So thank you. Do you guys have any questions for Brooke? I want to know how it is to have four kids and one on the way. Um, Don't do it. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Say no more. Yeah. If you could see me after 6 p.m., my husband thinks I'm the meanest mom and wife there ever was. And I just am done with life. I'm not so bad before that, but at that time, I'm like devil. I'm sure that he thinks that I am. Yeah. Which Instagram social thing do you use? Um, I use 21. Is it called 21 social? I think that's what it's called. 21 social. Um, I've really liked it and I haven't even been using it a full two months and I'm up um, over 3000. I mean, yeah, well, no, 2,500 likes. I think, yeah, about 2,500 likes in less than two months. Um, so 
if that's something you want to look into, it, just know, first of all, that you don't have to use things like that to be a coach. <laughs> just get that out there. But if you are looking for something to kind of help you, it has helped me a ton with starting conversations. Um, and so I am getting followers. Um, but yeah, so I use that and I have a code and there might be others too, but it's just Brooke 10 and you get 10% off your first month. So 21 social it's 21 social.ca cause it's ran out of Canada. So don't do dot com cause it's not going to get you there. So, yep. You're welcome. I second those things. They're super nice. Especially if you're like, I don't want a cold invite, like posting to stories and engaging in conversations like that through your social thing. Like if you can get to the point in your business where you're hitting success club, every month and you have, you know, 30 bucks or whatever to spend or 10 bucks. I, I know on STEM social, you can do the one that I use, you can do a $10 one, but it's nice because it just like, there's a girl that just joined our coach sneak peek that my bot found, you know? So it's kind of cool that that can work that way. But again, not something you have to do. Like you can just, you can have a system of doing it yourself, essentially, you know, like searching hashtags, you know, whatever. But once you get to the point where you're like, okay, I need this time to do other things. Do I have the money to reinvest that? Yeah, it does take forever, huh? Yeah. So, you know, if you're like, hey, like I'm at a point in my business where I need to make this shift. And this is actually a big conversation I had with Brigitte. And if you go to Lindsay Matway's post, her most recent post about this, she's like holding her two babies you should go to her page and read it. I love it. But she talks about delegating. She's like, someone commented on her post that, oh, well, you have help watching your babies and you've got whatever, you got someone to mow your lawn and all this stuff. And she's like, yeah, I do. And she's like, I wish I would have delegated it sooner, you know? And so just as you grow a business, it's like anything it's, you can keep it, you can keep it and be a small business owner and do all the jobs and do all the things or you can start delegating it and build a big business. You know, you can be the CEO and you can build a big business and start delegating. And so that was a conversation I had with Brigitte this weekend. She's like, Hey Breezy, you're doing it all yourself. What can you start delegating? And I'm like, Oh, you're right. You know? So that's just slow steps along the way that you have to think about. So yeah, kind of a tangent, sorry, but applicable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, all right, ladies. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and post this recording. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke, for hopping on and sharing with us. Thank you, ladies, for hopping on. Um, Brooke, I would love you to share, like, your marketing plan slide and your BAT slide. I think that would be super helpful to share. And I'll go ahead and I will post the recording in the team page. Um, have an awesome night, you guys.